which are inaccurate and don't actually work where you replace the um, files by downloading the bin uh, downloading the files that you stated in the bins that uh, I've watched five videos today following the instructions to come replace those files where the splash screen would fail after the splash screen you would get a you would get nothing the game would just not start not do anything just not 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 even go into the game you just get a splash screen and a few seconds later splash screen would disappear and no game well I'm here to show you that I can fix this problem today I fixed it um, by just I don't know I just was I always screw around with computers and usually fix things that people say oh it's unusual that I'm the only one that able to fix computers the way no other people have well I got your fix because I'm here and I fixed a lot of problems on machines that people have never been able to fix well here's how I did okay um, first videos here's what the video said to do it said uh, to, to go to your watchdogs and watch this it says go to watchdogs and go to create when you take your shortcuts on your start menu and it said to use this darn it okay go to properties and everyone's done this I've seen it done what do you type slash EAC launcher right I did it and that's where people would fail and also they replace the files before that they replace the files in the bin where you take the CPY file from the bin you take these three files and you copy and paste them into your bin yes once that's done people were also doing then they would go to do the shortcut and do the EAC underscore launcher under their shortcut well the step that they missed is about is what I'm going to show you the extra step that I did that corrected it and fixed it is where I copy and go to my I go to my watchdogs folder go to your bin folder and your watchdogs so I'll look at up here where it says you can see this I have J programs that's where watchdogs bin that's where my game is installed and where you see the watchdogs 2 folder okay you highlight your main your main executable for watchdogs which is your watchdogs 2 you right click it you go to properties uh, it's not here wait yeah that's that's what you do you go to right click and then you create a shortcut now once you've done that you have a shortcut inside this folder you have to do it in this folder the way I'm doing the way I'm showing you and I'm gonna also give you the bin files that I'm using so that way there's no confusion so you have the actual bin files that you need to get this up to get your game up and running I'm gonna leave that in the description too so if so we all are on the same page so you have the same files I do and if it, there is a problem which I don't think there will be a problem but this is how I got mine working after finding out all the steps that everyone's saying that don't work. These are for the guys that have the splash screen and don't work. This is for them. And it's for everyone else. This is what I got the game temporarily working with the other fixes, but it only lasted for five days. This fixed my game today. Well, I don't know if it's going to be fun. But anyway, create the shortcut here. And you do the same thing. Except you have the shortcut in here. So you go to properties. Go to the very end. Space. And then you put. I forgot what they call that. Hyphen, I guess. It. You just do this. Let me see. So you're doing this. Hyphen. E-A-C. What to do with lower score. 
the underscore launcher that's what you put there you go Let's copy it paste it and type it this is what you put in there okay this is what I highlighted here in blue exactly what you're going to type make sure you put a space between that get to the very end here you're going to need space then you click apply okay now that shortcut works now when I click this I get a splash screen but I don't get a game that's what they showed in the video where you get a splash screen the game works in their video it works but all we did but this is for when you you only get a splash screen but you don't get a game so what I did I created a shortcut added the same uh, fix that everyone did for the splash screen and crash except I created a shortcut here so click open now you open it the game works right away boom I'm in the game okay so that's how you get it to work leave a comment down below and tell me how you like this video thank you